without exaggerating, could the moon be a Death Star? <laughs> Hi and welcome. We talk about a lot of theories on the surface of the moon and exactly what could be up there. We have a really nice video. I hope you'll appreciate it. A lot of different views of the surface again as we're getting in closer and closer. A lot of new coming uh, to the channel. I mean, looking and uh, preparing to invest in some uh, really nice programs that are going to help the research and uh, help us all view these incredible objects on the surface. Before getting into any structures, we're going to talk about some creatures or light objects and you know, dark objects and these, you know, licorice jellyfish objects floating around in the atmosphere of the moon. I wonder what they could be. These ghost-like objects that really are flying through clouds on the moon over top. And here, this one is really pressed up close to a crater. Don't ask me what it is. It's a line of smoke that is actually moving over. Of course, I have it slowed down for you very slow so that you can see this object that is, it's caressing the surface if you want. It's probably high enough up over the surface. It literally looks like a cloud, storm cloud actually. Um, possibly, right? Just moving over. Um, it's very white <laughs> and we can see smoke coming from it. So I often see UFOs that have, uh, and again, what do you want to call them? I call them UFOs, right? This is, okay, a UFO. It's an unidentified flying cloud. I don't know what else to call it. So check it out. Here we see this UFO um, light up and that's what I'm wondering what the heck they are. Are these explosions coming from these creatures or UFOs or, you know, it can't all be debris catching on fire and falling to the surface of the moon or maybe it is i don't know but nonetheless we can definitely see them spontaneously combusting right they're igniting um lighting up here's a very close-up view of it it's just a ball of light with you know smoke coming off the back of it as it's uh, going across the surface of the moon inside of the hazes and so these things are creeping by everyone's footage without anyone actually realizing it, right? Bianchini Crater, let's take a look at the surface. We're gonna bring it into um, the 3D editor. But now here's the thing. I keep mentioning that it's in the 3D, 3D editor. There's no 3D here, <laughs> it's an image. You're gonna see the elevation that it does here um, a little bit in the center. It's, you know, you could use it or not use it. There, I just did it. It's moving around, there it is, this little, little signs of elevation that you can give it. I mean, there's other 3D programs. This is just, uh, you know, basic straight up showing the image is that I like being able to um, turn the image around so that we can see all the objects and from different angles. So what are all these objects beside Bianchini Crater that are all jumbled up one over the other and they follow each other uh, one behind the other, you know, like like in lines. If you look carefully, it's one object beside the other. So speaking of a Death Star, you know, if we're talking theory, look at, uh, either way, this is interesting, black squares on the surface. Is there, and I think there is, a dark structure, a dark uh, element or substance that they build with, or it's a cover, you know, whatever it may be. But you know, again, we want to talk Death Star. This is Copernicus Crater on the left. I mean, look at all the signs of um, people wonder, why do they say it's a spaceship? Why do they say it's like a Death Star? I mean, the moon's just uh, an empty gray ball. <laughs> no, it isn't. It really is not at all. Look over to the right there on the bottom with my inversion, right? Remember at the beginning I was saying x-ray, everyone got mad. I said, okay, it's an inversion. <laughs> look at all these pipes on the moon. What the heck is that? And not just that. Look around, we're gonna go around to point to other objects that are like connected together. So look on top, another towering object coming out, looks like a pipe out of the surface. So there are many areas that show us these signs. Here, another connection on the right. We can see the arrow there. So it's not just pixelation. You can see the objects connected to elevated areas where these lines bend and go up and you can see it in the image as they're connecting their way through. It was a really great shot. Uh, you, you see it looks like almost ice or snow in the crater, 
but again, these lines side by side, which actually form um, a rectangle, you know, and we're going to go see some new clarified images that I was not able to clarify or get in very close uh, to show you, but oh yeah, we're going to get in to see it um, incredibly. Looks like um, I often call it the guitar area, where there's a guitar on the surface, you can see the pickup on the guitar and you can see all the strings going by. And again here, even this looks like a, a guitar, <laughs> literally um, a guitar neck with the strings going by and that's exactly why I'm fascinated with this object on the surface. You can see it clear enough that it is a, a square and you can see that there are lines, um, also trends, uh, well, uh, passing sideways over top across these lines and it reminds me of you know i can't help but wonder could it be deliberately built and connected all holding up together some type of construction that's pretty incredible now what is this supposed to be in the middle of the crater you can see that the object looks like a sort of egg shape but or oval or whatever it may be but you can see it's out of place it's right in the center of the crater so it's repetitive all these areas and objects so we have circles just just this month i showed circles squares a whole bunch of different and new uh things in the research you're gonna like this uh video guys and gals wait till you see this is beside copernicus of course um so here a bad shot of tycho but i'm not showing tycho i want to show you what's on the right right there beside tycho again these massive pipelines or straight objects that go and veer into the center of a crater this one here that's pretty cool to see there so we're going to look at a few different objects on the surface real quick this one here fascinates me and again depending on your monitor there's a lot of color here in <clears throat> excuse me there's the voice again there's a lot of color um, along the terminator line there depending on your monitor sometimes you can see it some people can't um, i sure can here and this massive Looks like Oumuamua fueling up on the surface of the moon. Incredible along the Terminator line, which again is giving us the elevation because it's along the Terminator line. But look at that long object. No matter what it may be, it's elevated off the surface. Here's some new. I've showed you Copernicus before. This image, I love it. It's the real surface. You can see it well enough on the surface beside Copernicus that there are uh, jumbled up um, objects and structuring whatnot but now watch what we're going to do now see here in the center I know some of you can see it right away but it, it yeah it takes adjusting uh, wait till your eyes adjust I'm gonna put a green filter up for you but then we're gonna go all out so already now you're gonna start seeing it a lot better and then we're gonna revert back to the green but we're going to descend the exposure so that our eyes will immediately it's like doing the trick with the lighter in front of the, the camera, my friends. There you go. And even though you can't see on the right what's in the white, we can see even more now the elevation and detail on the left. And this is right beside Copernicus Crater. So we're talking 20 miles right beside it. It's not far. The crater's up on the top right there. And my goal again is to see the, the objects and the layering and different elevation on the surface so you know it's um it's research so i'm not making it look like a movie you know i mean it's it's straight up just an image but look how beautiful it is for me it's it's incredible 90 degree angle there look at those layers again right and again there's copernicus right there on the right and you see that amazing surface Here's the area, guys and gals, that I wanted to show you that I have showed you before. It was a piece of crap, the image. I could not do anything with the image because, of course, it's areas that are hard to see depending on when and uh, what type uh, time of the phase um, and how close to the Terminator line you are. But for the first time, I'm able to show, yeah, another square or, let's say, rectangle on the surface. You're going to see the images here as we uh, change them a little bit to see more detail on the surface. It's pretty cool. Guitar strings, right? Or lines, once again, going by this incredibly large um, rectangular shape on the surface of the moon. And if you look around and adjust your eyes, you, this one's pretty cool because now I brought the exposure that down probably the most I will ever be able to do. 
obviously the closest I'll ever be able to get with this one. But that's what we do. Photos have limits, but we can still get in as close as we can to see the most detail. And what am I trying to show you? Just that square there. That, that's it. There's a square on the surface with lines going by it and what looks like some type of bridge higher up or maybe just a path, whether it be elevated or not. So my goal is to try to show um, the images the best that I can. And Thank you for the ongoing support. DEW satellites can be used, for example, to blind satellite sensors, destroy munition depots, neutralize UAPs. I'm